Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. I wanted to talk a little bit about how on-chain privacy is something I'm starting to sour on. And this is because of some things that I've been studying with respect to trust and scarcity. And, uh, and it's kind of controversial because a lot of people do want fungibility. They want the ability to send uh, money to other people without anyone else knowing about it. Um, and I'm not so sure that's a good idea on chain. Now, as far as like who it's being sent to, it's already kind of pseudonymous, right? Like you, you sent to an address and not like a person's mailing address or their name or something like that. And, uh, and that's a good thing. Uh, there, there's at least pseudonymity. Uh, you need to do some work, at least the burden of, uh, of finding out what is happening is on whoever wants to know. Um, that said, uh, there there is something about the fungibility aspect, the the actual amount that's going that can sort of lead people to know a little bit more about you, and that's the part that I want to talk about, because something like in Zcash or in Monero, they they can essentially hide the amount that you're actually sending, and this is due to the fact that they, um, uh, at least in Monero's case, they use uh you know confidential transactions so they hide the amount there's a there's a hiding piece there uh with zk snarks they use zero knowledge uh to know that uh at the end that the amounts are the same that you're not creating any new coins now that said um the reason why i'm starting to sour is because i think the amount needs to be in the clear now if you don't have it in the clear what happens well if you don't have it in the clear then what you're what you end up doing is having to trust the math, right? Uh, you have to trust that zk snarks isn't broken or that confidential transactions aren't broken. Um, part of the utility, well, not a major part of the utility, is that Bitcoin is a store of value, and, and it's not really a good store of value if it's not actually scarce. Uh, with something like uh, the you know like Monero or Zcash you not only have to trust that the network will not change or inflate, uh, but that the math is not broken yet. I, I mean, if, if I broke um, you know, some elliptic curve operation, um, the first thing I would try to do is to go to ZK, uh, Zcash or Monero and try to exploit it there because nobody will know that I did it. Whereas on Bitcoin, as soon as I spend somebody's coins that don't, uh, you know, that don't belong to me, they're going to know, or there's at least a very good chance that they're going to know. Um, certainly if I stole Satoshi's coins uh, by breaking ECDSA, people would know right away and that would crash the price of it. So it wouldn't be really economically rational for me. But if I can use that exploit to somehow create more Monero or you know, create more Zcash because of certain uh, of the mathematic ass assumptions that they make, then that would be a lot more effective because nobody else could tell. Um, you know, if, I, if I'm using a ring, ring signature, for example, um, you know, none of those, uh, you know, if uh, one of those outputs is mine or is, is somebody else's, then, you know, they, they don't know that there's just got spent, right? Like, and that that's, that's really not great uh, because you're, you're not really assured of that scarcity unless that amount is in the clear. And having that amount in the clear is a very important property because if you can just add up all the all the amounts in the UTXO set, for example, in Bitcoin, you would know that it's under 21 million. And, and that's that that scarcity is what gives it so much value. Um, but you know, it, you can't really do that in something like Monero Zcash, and I and, and this is something that I'm starting to think more about, um, and and starting to recognize. Okay, on chain, on the at least the main chain, it doesn't, it's not, it's not that great. Um, on a side chain, however, that can definitely make sense. Um, but you know, the people that are going into the side chain are very much aware that. You know, if if the, if certain math breaks, then uh, it's possible that you know the the money could get away from them or something like that. Anyway, hopefully that makes sense um, and that you know gives you something to think about. If you think I'm wrong or uh, have other comments, please let me know. This song is done.